What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart, and I'm um, back. How are we doing? Two videos in one week! Must be some type of record or something, man. <laughs> oh boy. We got a big one today. Doctor Strange in a Multiverse of Madness. Oh no! Oh no! Doctor Strange! Oh man! Okay. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. Now we're gonna start this review off. Spoiler free. Then, I'm gonna go into the complete review <laughs> let's go so do i think this movie is good yes it's a very good film very entertaining even if you haven't watched the other movies and tv shows that you really do need to watch to understand what is going on here it's still going to be a fun film, enjoyable, crazy, lots of characters, lots of fights, lots of story, crazy, wild, amazing visuals, uh, jaw-dropping spectacle, quality film that you can enjoy, absolutely. Would I recommend you watch it? Yeah, definitely. What rating would I give it? That is extremely hard, yeah? I'll give this movie an 8 out of 10, yeah? Now, the problem I have with this film is you have to have watched the first Doctor Strange movie, Spider-Man, the last one that came out, I don't know, No Way Home or Far From Home or whatever it is, right? The one that had um, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in it. That that movie. And it had, um, um, was it Tom? Tom? I don't know his name. Tom Holland? Something like that? Yeah, I think that's his name. Yeah, so you have to have watched that one there that came out... This year? I'm not too sure if it came out in 2022 or 2021. But that movie. Yeah. Got to watch that. Have to have watched Loki. And yeah, definitely have to have watched One Division. Because this movie, I don't care what anyone says, this movie is a continuation of One Division. The ending of One Division is. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Facts. And you have to have watched What If. What If is good, but you still have to have watched it. Yeah. So you need to have watched all those projects in order to have the data and information as to what the blue hell is happening in this movie. Oh yeah, and you kind of have to be up to date with the comics. So you can understand who a certain character is in the ending, like the hidden ending of this movie. That's my issue with the movie. And also, oh, it felt like they did press the speed up button in this movie. It's just, it had so much incredible, but it was just so fast. This movie had an astronomically high level of mental overload it was crazy what was happening in this movie god like movie but it was a astronomical amount of mental overload yeah and just not enough context given to certain situations of certain characters and certain stories and motivations of characters right um so that was my those are my issues with the movie other than that great movie loved it eight out of ten definitely think you should watch it and that's it for the spoiler free review thank you for watching thank you for tuning in i appreciate you guys um 
yeah, and we're going to go from there. Right, I was going to say um, like, subscribe, and all that type of stuff, but, you know, I'm never going to tell you guys what to do. So, if you want to support, I appreciate you guys, and we can go from there, and, um, yeah, if you stick around, in the next 10 seconds, I'm about to do the complete review, where I go into details, because this is my stomping ground. This is Marvel. This is my world. Okay, you're still here. We're going to go into spoilers. So, your last chance to click off if you haven't watched it. Alright, let's go. Complete review. Oh, man. What did they do, bro? What did they do? Alright, so, I did like this movie. Yeah. But they sped up so much of the film, you just could not enjoy it, man. Like, this is one of the stranger... <laughs> stranger. Doctor Strange movies, even though there's only, there's only the second one, right? But, you know, he was in the Avengers movies, yeah? And he was in the Spider-Man movie. My issue is... I don't feel a connection to this dude. The same way I like Spider-Man. Well, that's kind of unfair because, you know, Spider-Man, he had a long time. But let me just say, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Uh, Cap I didn't even like Captain America in the first Avenger. I thought that movie was garbage and I thought he was garbage. In Civil War, in Winter Soldier, in those movies, he was incredible i love that character black panther i think i said iron man already right four and i didn't like four in the original four movies right but i thought he was all right in the avengers movies now in the four ragnarok movie he got like man uh there was there's a lot of characters right in a marvel universe where i actually understand them i know what their motivation is i get them but doctor strange feels like a character that it's almost kind of like i don't want to say they're kind of still figuring him out but it feels like they're still figuring him out and i'm watching the whole movie trying to understand where this character is coming from they bring in wanda Scarlet Witch. Now I have a character that I feel something for. Yeah. I love this character. Right. And I'm to, I'm separating Scarlet Witch from the comic books. I'm just talking about this Scarlet Witch. Yeah. And I have to remove myself from Elizabeth Olsen, the actress. Because I love that woman. I think she is amazing. She's got good character. She's funny. Um, like, Because you see interviews of her and stuff like that. And she's naturally got good energy. So I'm trying to separate the character that I like of Scarlet Witch. With the actress. Because I like the actress more than I like the character in the movie. So I do try. But since... One division. One division made her character so incredibly deep, bro. Right? Like, it's because of more One Division that I love the character of Scarlet Witch, Wanda, the way I do. Because I didn't really feel too much for her, to be honest with you, in the Avengers movies. I really didn't. But in this movie, she was amazing. Ridiculously overpowered. Ridiculous. But let's not forget. This is the character that killed millions of mutants. She removed the powers from the most some of the most powerful mutants in the entire universe. She killed 
hundreds of thousands of superheroes with a sentence. Let's not forget who this character is. Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch. Let's not forget that, yeah? But she's a different character to who she was in the comic books. And even though they've made such a vast differential, her level of OP, overpowered, still boggles my mind, man. Because in Marvel, the characters are not, they're not that overpowered. They get a villain, and then the villain is overpowered because you've got so many ridiculously powerful heroes fighting that uh, villain but Wanda is a hero yet she is so broken it's just silly she literally is like Superman she literally like Superman where you don't feel there's any danger to this character because nobody can touch her she is re ridiculous man she's the main villain of the film bro but what i didn't like was the fact that she's the main villain but she's not the main villain she's the villain because her consciousness has been corrupted by this dark spell book called the dark hold that exists in every universe and it corrupts anybody that touches it. So es essentially it's an option select to say she is a good character, but it's just she's been corrupted. It's I don't like it. It's an option select. It's a get out of free jail card to say even though she's murdering everybody, right? And trying to kill um, America Chavez, a child. She can be redeemed because it's not her fault. She's just possessed by a book. Nah. You look at one division. Look at what she did. She enslaved an entire town just to satisfy her own selfish desire of wanting a family and, to, and wanting to be left alone. She weren't in possess she wasn't being possessed by no dark hold book. Right? She was doing that of her own fruition. Right? So the fact that they did that. I don't like it. It's cheap, right? But it is what it is, yeah? As a character, she was a good character and she was overpowered, broken, and she did not respond to kill people. This movie had the Illuminati and they did make the Illuminati seem powerful. And they had the Black Bolt, Xavier, um, Captain Carter, Reed Richards, and Captain Marvel as the Illuminati. They had Black Bolt, and Black Bolt actually looked good. She still vaporized them. Like, she vaporized them. That is, and recently, I mean, I found it irksome how they didn't give them they built them up the illuminati they just captured um dr strange and america chavez and they say you're being held here because you have uh, broken the rules of the multiverse and all this type of stuff and you see xavier come out with the, and they played the music <laughs> you heard that music playing when he came in i was like oh they didn't just play that music bro yeah um and so it was kind of like built up and then literally within se not even seven minutes like i would say like maybe three or four minutes of all of this scarlet witch comes in cuts peggy carter in half black bolt is about to whisper the death speech at her yeah she just basically removes his mouth essentially and makes him kill himself turns um 
Reed Richards into string cheese and then vaporizes him, drops a giant monument on Captain Marvel. I don't know how that kills him back to Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel has got um, invulnerability, right? Even though it's limited invulnerability, it is a substantially high amount of invul invulnerability, right? And she just kills everybody. You know, I mean, I would say the best fight was when it was Wanda versus Peggy Carter. That was like the best fight, right? But still, Peggy Carter, um, Captain Carter still got cut in half, right? But while she was there, Peggy was put up more of a fight than everybody else that had superpowers, right? I would have liked a little bit more development, you know, Reed Richards kind of said, you know, I do, I've, I have a family, you know, and he was kind of leading towards, I have a son in this universe. Now we all know, and literally that is an Easter egg for uh, Franklin Richards. So it's just, but they just died and... Everything was just so sped up, you couldn't enjoy it. Like, there was a moment where Doctor Strange saved America Chavez from Scarlet Witch, because Scarlet Witch is after America Chavez, because America Chavez obviously can jump between different uh, multiverses, right? And Scarlet Witch wants her powers so that she can go to a another multiverse where her sons are alive because essentially she just wants to be with her kids yeah that's why she's doing it and to be honest with you this does make sense with Wanda because Wanda they built that up from the beginning this lady's lost her brother she's lost them um, she's lost the one that she loves in vision her brother being Petro Quicksilver she's lost her husband and the one she loves in vision her kids gone she literally lose everything she's no longer part of the avengers the avengers expanded she's lost everything and the one thing you always know about wanda is her one weakness is her mental instability her mental instability is the whole reason that house of m was created was literally for Wanda because she's was so she's so dangerous because when she gets upset it it unstables her probability magic her probability magic goes up to 100% and if she says or does anything that will happen that's how she wiped out mutants she literally just said no more mutants Mutants all gone from the entire world. Gone. Dead. You know, she is... So that's why I can buy it, bro. At the end of the day, we could all buy it, right? You've ever been with a girl and you've probably gone out or something and you've come back and she's on your computer and she finds something on your computer that you kind of prefer she didn't see, yeah? Now, if you enter your, when you enter your house, you will feel the vibration in the house is different. And the way she will look at you, you'll feel like somebody is walking on your grave. We all know that look a woman can give you when she is pissed. They embody that in wonder. That scary element of a woman. Like that emotional aspect of a woman. Right? I don't, I don't know, man. Because that kind of felt like a trope. The crazy woman... Give her power. And then she'll just destroy everything. So I don't know man. I, f I don't know how I feel about that. Because imagine if they did that with Iron Man. I'd be pissed. 
if they did that with Captain America. I mean, they kind of did that with Winter Soldier, but actually Captain America after we know him. If they did that with Black Panther. If they did that with... Have they done that with Hulk? I don't think they did that with Hulk. If they did that with Thor, Ragnarok 4, right? I don't know how I would feel about that. So I do think to myself, the way they made her like the bad guy. In such a crazy woman way. And it's because she wants to be a mum. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, it's cool that she was so overpowered and incredible. But to do it with that reasoning, I just thought it was a little bit basic and just cheap. Like, I feel like they could have done a much better reasoning for her losing control. But not to be the bad guy the way she was the bad guy. Because she was, without question, the bad guy. And somebody like Scarlet Witch is the bad guy. You got problems, bro. Because that character is... Magneto level problems. Storm level problems. Um, Phoenix level problems. Cat, um, Franklin Richards level problems. These are individuals you do not want as a bad person. You do not want these people as a villain. Because if they decide... It's over. It's done. Right? And, as I said, she had that Superman. That's the thing about um, Scarlet Witch. She had the Scarlet Man and the Superman issue. Where it just felt like nothing could stop her. And nothing did stop her in the end. She had to stop herself. But then it was the same thing about Strange. Because Strange was not the strongest in this movie, right? No way. He got bested a couple times in the film. But he had he had too much plot armour. He didn't have the Superman issue. He just had the plot armour. Where it just felt like... Nothing really bad's going to happen to this dude. He'll be alright. He is Doctor Strange, the main character. There's no threat to him. But I felt the threat. I felt the threat in Spider-Man. I felt the threat in Black Panther. I felt the threat with Captain America in Civil War and in Winter Soldier. I felt the threat, right? Even when I watched Batman, the Batman film, I felt the threat to Batman. So it's possible to do it, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. And I just think the character of Doctor Strange, even though he has his origin movie, as a character, I do not know his motivation. I do not understand his motivation in the movies. He just seems like a character that goes on these incredible adventures. And the adventures he goes on are incredible, man. Even in the ending, there's like a secret ending. And you get to see bloody Clee Strange. At the end of the movie, they just... Drop the police. I'm like, what? I was like, but it's when she cut the, um, open up the portal to the dark dimension. That's what I was like, that's his wife. That must be, she must be, um, I don't know. Yeah, the wife from another dimension, right? Because she's like, strange, you created an incursion in my, re in, um, you created an incursion. You're going to come help? And then that's when he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts on the Doctor Strange outfit. You know, and the third, he has an eye now in his forehead. Like, the third eye in his forehead now. I don't know whether that's a representation of, you know, the all-seeing eye. You know, because now he's the pineal gland, right? It's like, you know, a symbolism for the third eye in all human beings. And the movie, in the first Doctor Strange movie... Let's be honest, that movie was, when he, when the, um, the first Sorcerer Supreme hit him, right, and knocked his consciousness out, 
He went through the kind of like the DTM. And um, what is it? Detraumatic um, D um, Mentanol or something like that. I can't remember the name. DTM. Yeah. He went on that trip of awakening. Yeah. So this movie kind of just emphasizes um, that more element and then that's where you see like the third eye but the I'll be, the third eye graphics i don't understand I'm like everything in the movie looked incredible but the third eye graphics looked so bad like it was bad bad like the basically the graphics that they did for the third eye was worse than the wig he was wearing and that just kept taking him out so now not only have you got him with a horrible wig like a really bad blatant wig. Now you've got him with an even worse CG eye on his head. So it's kind of like kept taking me out of the movie. Like what it only happened towards the end. But it really took me out because the, the CG was so bad. The graphics were so bad on that. But everything else, the graphics, the adventure, the magic, the magic. What the hell is going on, man? And that's another thing when I talk about the magic and the visual effects. Let's go back. When Scarlet Witch was about to capture America Chavez, Doctor Strange grabbed her and saved her. Chavez opened up a portal. Doctor Strange grabbed Chavez and jumped through the portal. They went through, I don't know, like 12, 15... I don't know how many different multiverses. They look incredible. But they didn't stay there for any of them. So you got to see like. I don't know whether you saw Genosha. I don't know whether you saw um, the what if reality. You saw a paint reality. You saw um, a crazy futuristic reality. You saw all types of weird things. But it was just flashes. Why can't we go into one of them, or a couple of them, just to see different variations of what's going on? I mean, they do go into a different version uh, of the multiverse, and then you see Mordo is the Sorcerer Supreme of a reality, right? And that was the reality where the Illuminati is, right? But it's just, as I said, the issue that the movie had, it, was, it felt sped up you know but it did stop stop the movie from being crazy and amazing you know like you saw there was like even a scene where doctor strange you know our doctor strange yeah and they did confirm i don't know if they've confirmed it before but yeah we are on earth 616 even though in the comic books is that i don't not too sure if they've confirmed that this is our reality but they did definitely confirm that in this movie, yeah, you are Doctor, you are Earth six one six Doctor Strange, yeah. Illuminati, Illuminati said that to him, yeah. When he fought an evil version of Doctor Strange that had been corrupted by the Darkhold, but was he? Was he corrupted by the dark by the um, Darkhold? I don't know, man. I don't think he was. I don't think he was corrupted. Yeah. Right. But. Um, I don't know. I don't know if he was or not. Yeah. But he had used it. But then again. All the Doctor Strange. Must share a common ability. This Doctor Strange. Used the Dark Hold. And he did get corrupted by it. I think it gave him an awakening of his abilities. That's how he got like the third eye opened in his on his head. But I don't think it corrupted him. I don't know. And even the dark hold, that spell book, I kind of don't really understand that thing fully. Like what it is or what it does. I mean, I do it what it clearly showed was that with the dark hold, you can see all the multiverses and you can send your consciousness into your consciousness in this earth 616 into any other multiverse uh, multiverse version of yourself 
and that's what Wanda was doing. She was sending her consciousness into the multiverse version of herself to do certain things. But I don't know what the book could do outside of that. You know, that was the whole thing, right? But then either they spoke about the incursions and even in incursions, I'll give it like a brief description of what it is. But to really understand it, you do have to watch Loki. That's another issue I had with the movie. You have to watch a lot of different the different movies and TV shows and animations in order to um, comic books to understand what is going on. The incursions is one, one reality mixes with another reality and then it will come together and then implode right incursion different realities crashing together and they just wipe each other out right and then you do so you do see certain situations like that but it wasn't emphasized man you went into reality and you saw that was happening where were the heroes on that planet where were they they showed you the Illuminati. Where was the Fantastic Four? Where were they? Okay, so you saw Xavier. Where are the X-Men? Somebody help me out here. We got Black Bolt, which means the royal family must be there. The human royal family. Where's Medusa? Where's Karnak? You know? Black Bolt has just died. Medusa, Karnak. Black Bolt has just been murdered. You know, so it's just kind of like, that's what I mean when I say it's, it felt, for me, empty. There are, it, but it's an amazing movie. But it's because I suffer from a, a wealth of knowledge. Because I know these things. So if something is missing, it's painfully obvious. If you don't know who the Inhumans are, if you don't know who Medusa and Karnak is, you're good. If you don't know the members of the Avengers, um, Fantastic Four, you don't know about Franklin Richards, you're good. Certain things are not going to bother you. If you don't know about the X-Men, although I don't know how you can't know about the X-Men, but if you don't know about the X-Men or you just... Because a lot of people just r read about it. They haven't actually watched it or read the comic books. Hmm. Well, I think that would be hard to do, to honest with you. But let's say, in a weird, crazy reality, that is the truth, yeah? Then, you certain things you're not going to... Um, you're not going to... Um, understand or care about what happens to Xavier and where is everybody else and certain situations right so it's just those kind of little nitpicky things that I kind of have like a a little bit of an issue with but I still like the movie it was an incredible movie it was just bizarre how rushed the movie is Right, it wasn't rushed because the movie was kind of long, but it felt short. It felt like half an hour, but it was not half an hour. It, I think it was like two hours or more than two hours, right? But it was so much going on, so much information, so much data, bro. It just blew my mind. They even showed the reality where that Earth, uh, there was an Earth where Doctor Strange was a hero because he died. Because he was the one that killed Thanos. And he helped create the Illuminati as a safeguard against himself and any future threats. Yeah. But it's just they told you that. But there, it was like little flashes of it and little images of it. But there was no emphasis on it or for us to even care. So even though I know that happened, I literally don't care about it right and that was kind of my issue there were so many things going on but i didn't care about any of it right because there's no legacy outside of the knowledge i have from the comic books right but then again that's why it's important that i said you have to have watched the first doctor strange movie 
to understand what the hell is going on, why this guy's got his powers, who this Mordo guy is, who is um, the doctor girlfriend that he's talking with that he really says, I love every single version of you in every single reality, right? Who that is, what the whole world is, um, the dark dimension, because in the ending, as I said, you see um, Dr. Strange's wife at the very ending of this movie, yeah? And it don't look good for Dr. Strange, man. Don't nothing spell the end more for a character than when you see the future version of a character but is a different version of the character well not really because Klee is not she doesn't take over from Doctor Strange but she kind of does because at the like for like she's the Sorcerer Supreme Supreme yeah Klee Strange is the new Sorcerer Supreme right now currently that's crazy that is up to date up to date is that when they did sam wilson as captain america sam wilson was captain america years ago they only did it now they have made they've just literally brought in clee strange and she was just the sorcerer supreme recently well of the dark dimension yeah because she is she is Dumamu's. I think she's Dumamu's daughter. Is she Dumamu's daughter? No, I don't think it's Dumamu's daughter, Dumamu's daughter because her mum is. Uh, I haven't really looked into that for a long time, man. I'm not too sure because I think Dumamu's. sister is Klee's the mama's sister is Klee's mum I, I don't want to say I don't want to say but she's related to Dumamu she's related to Dumamu and she's Doctor Strange's wife they got married right so it's just and that's up to date up to date so they're going to go on a mad adventure in the next, next Doctor Strange Essentially, with his wife. Crazy. Into the dark dimension. <laughs> because I don't like the way they did Dumamu in Doctor Strange, the first movie. The Doctor Strange, when he fought Dumamu, was godlike. But I still felt he was disrespected because of how he bested Dumamu and outsmarted Dumamu so easily and so quickly. Dumamu! So I do feel that Dumamu needs to, needs to run back. He needs to run back, man. So yeah, you know, it's just kind of that stuff. But it was still a good movie. I definitely recommend you go watch it. There was an incredible fight. You see Doctor Strange, the um, our, uh, um, Doctor Strange versus the evil Doctor Strange. And they were fighting using all these incredible spells. Um... And you saw they were using magic and music, like and um, because a Doctor Strange and um, like bits of paper hit Doctor Strange, and then Doctor Strange kind of used his magic to turn the notes of the music into attacks. And as he was throwing the attacks using his magic, the mu the, the notes were making music and then Doctor, uh, evil Doctor Strange was throwing out music as well and his music uh, the evil Doctor Strange music was and then the, our Doctor Strange good Doctor Strange music was was and then, and then when the music was crashing it was like from Doctor from e from Good Doctor Strange, and then it was the Evil Doctor Strange music was coming like, do 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 do. So it was like, do 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 do. And it was kind of like it was mad. The way the music was actually it was like a rhythm game, but a fight with Doctor Strange. The visuals in this movie were mental, mental. It's an important movie. It's an important movie. 
Now, despite I said everything I said about my issues with the movie, still a brilliant movie. Give it 8 out of 10. I just feel they need to nail down Doctor Strange. But he's on his third movie. It was just too many characters for his second movie. Doctor Strange needed to have a movie of his own. Of his own. No Scarlet Witch. No Peggy. No Captain Carter. No Black Bolt. No Xavier. No other Doctor Stranges from the multiverses. Even though that was hella cool to see all the different multiverse versions of Doctor Strange. None of that stuff. No America Chavez. Right, Cause I, I, I did kind of feel like America Chavez was stealing the show from Doctor Strange. Because her character was so likeable. You don't even know this. I felt more for America Chavez than I did Doctor Strange. That's a massive problem. Where I'm liking um, America Chavez more. She couldn't control her powers. She didn't know what she was doing. She was lost throughout the entire movie. But she was such a cool character because of her spells. Because of her innocence. She was learning the world of uh, Doctor Strange and everything that was going on the same way we were. And that was what was so cool about it. Even though she's been to all these universes before. She knows everything. She still had that amazing wonder and not knowing who to trust and who is who and what is what and it was some they could have done more with dr strange they could have flushed his character out more which i do feel like he needs that because we need to have a bond with this character i don't feel i have that i feel we're going to like his wife in the third dr strange movie more than we're gonna like him that's a massive problem. Massive, massive problem. Right? And even the ending, I felt frustrated by the ending. Because the way the movie ended, man. You can't end the movie like that. With his wife coming out, looking all crisp and clean and beautiful. Like, she looked, like, she looked stunning, bro. Like, Clee Strange, when you see her, your jaw will hit the ground. She looks perfect. And then the movie, just, and then she opens, you see the dark dimension, and then it the ends. Come on, bro. Come on. That ending was, that's a, the ending is savage. I'll put it like that. It's a savage ending, right? But Incredible Adventure. Definitely recommend you watch it. Um, 8 out of 10. Um, everything you could want out of a movie. But unfortunately, you do 100% have to have watched at least Spider-Man. I don't know. Far From Home or No Way Home or whatever the last one. The last Doctor movie of Spider-Man that came out and it had Tobey Maguire... Um, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Doctor Strange. That that Spider Man. You have to have watched that. Loki, One Division, and the first Doctor Strange movie. And what if? And then you will kind of. And then you'll be able to look at this movie, absorb the movie, and enjoy it, right? Because uh, you're gonna see some incredible, incredible stuff in this movie. Right, you even see like an undead zombie version of Doctor Strange. And he had like, um, he created like, there were these the, the demon souls that were kind of like stopping him, the corpses of the dead or the, the spirits of the dead or something like that. And he basically took the powers of these people, made them into a cape, and he just became like some, the undead king version of Doctor Strange. And he was fighting Wanda, even though Wanda like, you know, she beat him like, it was pretty free yeah for about 40 seconds he was putting up a really really good fight but he was no match for her because nobody was a match for scarlet witch in this movie as i said before she was busted 
super mega busted in this movie way too powerful but it was incredible it's just the way they got there with the reasoning that she got there i don't know i don't know but we do get it we do understand how she could get like that especially if you've been following her from all the movies and when you watched the one division you know how she's here from one division what has created this and this is literally the ending of one tv show it, it's like the this doctor strange multiverse is the movie companion to one division one division is the most important thing to have watched even before this movie because you see in that tv show where she becomes overpowered and real and becomes the scarlet witch and why she is kind of like mentally unstable the way she is as she becomes so extreme right in this movie where she don't respond to kill which i did like the fact that you did see death in this movie right they didn't have, they didn't run away from blood they didn't run away from like killing characters off and they killed people off with extreme prejudice right and i got no problem with that it's just how they sped up everything i didn't have a chance to absorb anything so it was like before i could be like oh wow that was uh oh it's gone okay next yo um, that guy is that guy over there wong that's a source he's he's the new source of supreme oh yeah cool next thing that's going on wonder she's the main bad guy oh shit okay this is the multiverse version of dr stranger now he's he got killed but now he's been possessed by the earth 616 version of dr strange and now he's controlled the spirits of the dead that stop you from um using your consciousness into another person who is you can't use your consciousness to take over the dead that is a breach of you know the multiverse rules but then he takes that power controls it oh yeah and then over here this america chavez she can open up portals from different multiverses you travel to a multiverse dimension and it's like this that this, and it's like before you realize it oh you know that's what i'm trying to say so you see right there confusing right dr strange in a multiverse of madness but i guess the hint to how this film is is in the title so warriors that's it for my review i'm positive i've forgotten something because this movie was as i said mental overload i watched the film yesterday and i needed a break because it was so much to absorb plus i was kind of like well I was super busy yesterday right so i kind of didn't get around to doing it but now, we're here. So, Warriors, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. You know I appreciate you guys. Um, if you watch the movie and there's stuff that I forgot or I didn't catch, let me know in the comment section. We could talk about it because you know this is my wheelhouse. I love this stuff, man. I love this stuff. So... I don't do any research. I don't need to. I don't need to read on the internet. I don't need to watch videos or go onto Wikipedia or um, anything like that, or even flip through my comics or anything like that because all the information is here. I don't need nothing. I don't need no kind of nobody telling me nothing, man. It's all here. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's have a good time. I hope you guys watch the movie. Um, yeah, and we're gonna have a good time. Until my next video, take care, stay blessed. Once again, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Laters.